Hello everybody, what's up? It's your mistress, the Queen of Lions here, and welcome back to another episode of Shadows and Pretties. So today, this is episode, um, 75? Today this is episode 75, so yeah, we're getting close to 100, well, you could probably say 100 episodes, because, um, yeah, I started this sometime back last year in 2020, and I'm sure most of you guys are enjoying this um, podcast. And for those who don't enjoy it as much as the creepy pasta narrations or funny pasta narrations, it's totally understandable. It's your opinion. But anyways, I'm going to sit here and basically talk about another movie. And today, I am going to be talking about a... Um, uh, I guess you could definitely say I'm kind of wanting to be talking about this for like a while now. So, I am going to be saying that right now, that today I am going to be talking about a Halo game. Now, this is called Halo Combat Evolved, aka Halo. The first game that started the Halo series. Now, I know I got requested to do this episode, I think, uh, months ago. I'm not really sure. But I could definitely say it's actually one of the classic um, Xbox games I've played. Now, most of us have heard of this game. I'm sure very most most of you guys have heard of this game. And for those who haven't seen it, then you probably don't know you're not, like, a true gamer. Like, true gamers would know Halo. Now, eventually this is, was made by Bungie, which is the company who made it, along with, well, Microsoft, which um, was released in, well, 2001. And this one... Was a pretty good game sometime for, well, 2001. It's a pretty good game. I definitely have to say right now, before I get, you know, start with the whole plot of, you know, what basically is happening and that. So, I am going to be explaining, you know, the Halo games. Now, for those of you who don't know, Halo is a pretty popular, well, Xbox game. It's a very popular one. It's a first-person shooter game. Which um, evolves with sci-fi. So like it's a sci-fi world related. Which of course the player in the game basically is playing a, uh, a character known as Master Chief. Who is a Spartan. Who is accompanied by Cortana who is an artificial intelligence gents or something. Or at least a hologram. I don't even know what she is. Players battle main various aliens and attempt to uncover the secrets of Halo. Now, eventually, it's a ring shape of an artificial world, but it's more of a different kind of world than what we have. Now, Bungie began developing the game sometime, I think, in the late 90s, like sometime 1997. Which, of course, the game was a real-time strategy game that morphed into a third-person shooter game before it became first-person shooter during the development. Microsoft acquired Bungie to turn Halo into a launch game for the game console on the Xbox. So, Halo was a critical and commercial success and even praised a lot of the greatest video games of all time. The game's popularity labeled into such as Halo Clone or and Halo Killer, which apply to the game similar or anticipated to be better than its sequel Halo 2. Now, I will talk about Halo 2 maybe in another video, but I definitely have to say a lot of the Halo games are pretty good. Like, this game was released for Xbox, the original, which I played it. And you could also get the Anniversary Edition, which um, was released in 2011, which um, was available on Xbox, well, one, well, Xbox, and one in, well, the Halo Master Chief Collection. Which I do have the Halo Master Chief Collection, which included, you know, pretty much the games such as Halo Reach, Combat Evolve Anniversary, Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo 3, um... Halo 3 ODST, and even Halo 4, which I will get to that eventually. Which, of course, to be honest, I actually really like the fact that, you know, Halo actually was one of these games that a lot of players would play all the time. I remember playing this a lot back in the day when I was younger, and I, my dad obviously got me into the Halo games. He likes Halo 2. He likes the Halo games, and, you know, to be honest, I haven't played Combat Evolve until just recently, when I just started playing it again. Because I haven't played that game in like years. So. Of course there are like. Um, 
other games such as well they they had also um merchandise for the game besides the games they released they reserved books toys and even the films i will be talking about the books in a little bit and the movies but the toys and merchandise are like either rare to find or they become you know expensive and overpriced like i took a look at you know amazon for these games and they're either like too expensive or something like i know it's pretty popular but you know anyways the gameplay, which is a shooter game, which the player experience is the gameplay in the 3D environment, most entirely from a first person sin view. The player can move around, up, look up and down, left or right, and the game features vehicles ranging from armor to tanks, alien hoovercraft, and aircraft, which many can be controlled by a player. Now, the game switches to a third person Send perspective during the vehicle used for pilots, mounted guns, operators, passengers, maintain first person view, and even the game's heads up display, which includes a motion tracker, which evolving moving aliens or moving or firing enemies, and vehicles certain radius from the player. Now, of course, the player is, or Master Chief, is equipped with the energy shield that new flies damage from the weapon's fire and forceful impacts. The shield's charge appears to be a blue bar at the top of the corner of the game's heads-up display. It automatically recharges if no damage sustained for a brief period. Now, when the shield is fully, well, down, the player becomes highly invulnerable and further damage reduces to hit points of their health health meter. When the health meter reaches a zero, the player dies and then the game reloads from the last safe checkpoint. Health can be replenished throughout the collection of health packs scattered around the game's levels. Now... Obviously, that changed when it came to, well, releasing Halo 2, Halo 3, and etc. But I know there are some exceptions where those were available. Now, anyways, the main game's, uh, game's main enemy force are the Covenant, which is a group of alien species seized by a common region that includes elites, of course, with grunts, jackals, and even hunters. But of course, they have a secondary enemy, enemy that does appear later on, which is the Flood, which of course is a parasitic alien that forms and appears in various variants. Now, other enemies include Sentinels, are little robots designed to extinct, they're called the Forerunners, to protect their structures to prevent flood outbreaks. Sentinels are another enemy, but you don't really see them until you get to, well, later on in the game. Multiplayer is pretty different. Now, a split-screen mode allows the players to cooperatively play with the Halos campaign. The game includes five competitive, well, multiplayer mods that can be customized between 2 to 16 players. Up to four players may split-screen on one Xbox, and further players can join using a system link, which allows up to four Xbox consoles souls all together. Now, to be honest, I'm going to say right now that I really found this game to be really amazing and well done. It's actually, it was actually pretty interesting, you know, seeing them being sci-fi and that. It actually is a pretty good um, concept, which is pretty interesting, to be honest. Now, Halo Combat Evolved takes place in a 26th century, which is a science fiction setting, which is way into the future which um, travels called Slip Space, which allows the human race to colonize planets all over the Earth, such as planet reaches to certain level or something like that. The United Nations Space Command, or NUNC, SC, develops a secret program to argument the known the Spartans. So more than 20 years before the beginning of the game, technology advanced the collective of alien races called the Covenant, Began a holy war against humanity, declaring from their infant to their gods, mil humanity's military experiences of series of crushing defeats. Although the Spartans are very effective against the Covenant, they are too a few number to turn into tide. So sometimes Covenant forces attack Reach to which is in Halo Reach. I'll be talking about that in another video, to be completely honest, to destroy their colony. The starship Pillar of Autumn escapes the planet with Spartan. Master Chief, or a.k.a. John 7117 on board. Now, let me get on with the plot of this um, well, game. For any of you guys who want a refresher on the Halo game of what it is about, and for those who have not played it, I'm going to sit there and, well, explain this now. 
The game begins as a pillar of autumn it exits out of the slip space and joins its crew discovers by the ring world structure sure, known as the origin. The Covenant pursues the pillar of autumn and attacks within the ship severely damaged the autumn's captain, Jacob Keyes, entrusts the ship's artificial intelligence, known as Cortana and Master Chief, to prevent the Covenant from discovering the location of Earth. So Keyes orders the crew to abandon the Pillar of Autumns and pilots, and then the ship crashes, landing on the Ring World. So on the Ring's surface, Master Chief and Cortana rush to rescue other survivors to help, help organize a counter-offensive. Learning that Keyes has been captured by the Covenant, Master Chief and the small whole group of soldiers rescue him, from the Covenant cruiser, Truth and Reconciliation. Now, Keyes has revealed that the Covenant called the Ring World Halo, and they believe it to be a weapon. Intent on stopping the Covenant from using Halo, Keyes and search for a potential weapons ca cliche cache for it. While Master Chief and Cortana mount an assault on the Ring World's control room, Cortana enters the Halo's closed computer systems, and discovering that something sends Master Chief to find and stop Captain Keyes from continuing his search. So, of course, while searching for the captain, Master Chief encounters a new enemy called, known as the Flood. The release of the Flood prompts and Halo's caretaker, Gar Free for Free Guilty Spark, or the Monitor, insists on Master Chief on helping him activate Halo's defenses, but after Master Chief achieves the Halo activation index, text Guilty Spark, or Free for Free Guilty Spark, transports him back to Halo's control room, where Cortana intervenes before Master Chief can activate the ring. She is discovered by the purpose of the installation to destroy all silent life in the galaxy, starving the Flood and potential hosts, and Cortana refuses to surrender Halo's activation index. But of course, free for free Guilty Spark attacks are in Master Chief over that. To stop Halo's activation, Master Chief and Cortana decide to destroy Halo, needing keys for the command codes to destroy Autumn and Halo with it. Master Chief returns to Truth and Reconciliation only to find that Captain Keyes was killed by the Flood. Retrieving his codes from the Captain's remains, Master Chief eventually returns to the Autumn and mainly stabilizes the ship's reactors, narrowing escaping pain from the Autumn's fighters. While the majority of the remaining Covenant and the forces have been affected by the Flood are destroyed along with Halo's installation. So Cortana now re-justifies their sacrifices and their hard work to be finished, but Master Chief says that there's just getting started. Although it is known that Free for Free Guilty Spark is known to survive Halo's destruction in a post credit scene. So I'm not really sure if that's actually the case, but it is for what it is. So, of course, Halo Low, but Low was a pretty good game. And when Bungie decided to work on it sometime in 1997, around 15 people were working it in Chicago and even Illinois. During the development of Sin of Myth 2, Soul, Soul Blinger, of a group of free, and etc., they were working on the game since the late 90s, and they finally released it sometime in 2000, 2001, once they were completed. It had been sold worldwide, they have like an official soundtrack to the Halo game, and they even had released it for many consoles, and to be honest, a lot of people really liked the game, which was a big success, such as a lot of love game places like GameSpot, GameSpy, etc. They really loved the game, and they like how the concept went out. It was just flat out amazing. Now, to be honest, in Halo Combat Evolve, I'm just going to say this right here, right now, that it was revealed to be remade by, you know, Free for Free Industries within the house game engine that would include achievements, terminals, and skulls. They were released for the Xbox 360 and on November 11th of night of 2011. That marks the 10th anniversary of the original game's release. The remaster version of the game includes online multiplayer, cooperative, functionally. The remake also includes the first Halo low game, game and stuff like that. Which, of course, there's a big difference when it came to these two games. Like, the graphics and the, well, you could definitely say, the graphics in it actually worked out pretty well. Like, I like the graphics in the, um, well, anniversary, but I also like the graphics that were shown in there. Like, the graphics looked a lot more in better and improved, which, of course, in the anniversary, 
Um, people made it more, well, the graphics look more realistic and, you know, neat. I could definitely say for some reason I like the remake, like the um, anniversary of Halo a lot better. I don't know really what it is, but for some reason, something about it was actually pretty neat for it. It's actually a really wild game. It's really well made in detail. It's really a lot of fun. So if you're like a Halo fan like me, I highly recommend you check out the, um, well, I really highly recommend you check it out. If you want to check it out, feel free to check out the Halo game as it's really amazing. If you're like a fan, you will probably know. And if you are a gamer and you have not played this game, I highly recommend you play this game. It is Flat out amazing. It's really well made in detail. You will not be disappointed. And for those who have seen it when you were, well, if you played it when you were, like, I guess younger or something, you would definitely have to see how good it is. It's actually a really good game. The plot of it is really well done and made. There's a lot of great concept when it came to the story. I actually love the story of how it went out. The story was just, oh my god. It's really amazing. I definitely have to say, if you're a gamer fan, you will definitely love this. So, oh, so with that being the case, and with that being said, I'm going to talk about the books. Now, the books, I'm pretty sure, are based on the game, but they even have certain, well, books. Now, I only read maybe one or two of them of the books, but I love how the books went out. Like, the books of it had a pretty good, well, going for Like, there's... My favorite book I think I read about a while ago was The Fall of Reach. That one is actually a pretty good book. Now, if you have not played any of the Halo books or any or read them or if you have not played the games, you have to sit there and read the books because you will not be disappointed. I'm going to guarantee you, you will not be disappointed if you, well, if you have not read the books, you will not be disappointed. I also read First Strike, which is another Halo book I read. But if you also want to know, you should really read the books if you have not seen it. They're really good books, and I can say you will not be disappointed once you see it. And if you have not played the Halo game, you need to check it out. You will not be disappointed when it comes to checking out the game. It's really fun and well made. So anyways... I guess with that being the case, with that being said, I'm going to wrap up their video because that's all I wanted to talk about was Halo Combat Evolve because I know I haven't done a Halo-related episode. If you guys want to see more Halo-related episodes, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'm sure most of you guys would like to see that. So anyways, with that being the case, and with that being said, what did you guys think about this, um, well, game, Halo, and based on, well, the movies. Oh yeah, the movies we do see are, well, Halo Legends, but that's just all I know, know for a fact. But anyways, with that being the case and with that being said, what did you guys think about this, well, um, game Halo and the and the story behind it? And what do you also think about this, the books? Did you all enjoy it? Did you not? Also, what we have done first to help make this, well, game a lot better? Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments section down below. I'm the Queen of Lions. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you happen to be brand new here on this channel, be sure to like, comment, subscribe because I make brand new videos every single day. Don't forget to ring the notification bell when I upload so that you guys will not miss an upload. And as always, please roll the out. No, there's no outro. My God, I almost said that. And as always, I'll catch you next time.